All right, what is going on, everybody? Got my ceiling fan going. It's a beautiful day outside. Matter of fact, let me actually come over here. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Of course, you can't see through the blinds. Yeah. Oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, guys, move all my fat, fatty foods over. Good news is, guys, I'll give you all a little bit of an update. I have actually gotten. The majority of my lesser known but awesome heroes black history mini marathon characters I've decided that I'm gonna do the number that the number of characters is gonna be eight so I've got six out of the eight done I hope you guys will actually enjoy it all throughout the month of February I'm excited about it also I'm th also there's a lot of stuff that I really want to talk about first off um, F.W. Waller and I, I don't know if it'll be this weekend, but anytime that he and I will get together, we have a debate video that we kind of want to ask you guys about a certain DC character and what this person is classified as, anti-hero or just straight villain. So you guys, you guys might like that too. Um, also, I figure I would do this actually for, uh, also... Um, I kind of actually want to give a little bit of a, I've noticed a couple of new people in the YouTube comic book community. One guy whose videos I enjoy, he does a lot of comic book haul videos. And he seems genuinely like a nice guy, but nice guy. So I will try to get a link to his channel in the, in the description uh, below, excuse me, but I'm going to be, but of course, and that is, you know, Mr. Tim, also known as Poet Skinny. I actually enjoy his videos. Very nice guy. So go check his go check his video out. He talks about his comic book haul videos, um, comics that he buys off of eBay, his local comic book shop and stuff. And I'm going to do a video technically for Mr. Skinny. And also to show you guys an update and show you how out of control I am. I'm not going to show the trade paperbacks. Those will be for like another time in another video. But I figured I would get the energy since I still have since I still have some from being able to do all this stuff. And let me move actually all of this stuff. By the way, for those of you who are watching right now wondering what the hell I'm holding and why I look like I'm in I'm in HD. That is because I actually have this bad boy that I'm holding in my hand. Oh, let me move this around yes I'm actually holding a camcorder that I got for Christmas and so this is my first test run with it yes you get to see my lovely features in HD or so and of course here's the cat being lazy what are you doing Shazbot what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing? Oh, well. Okay. Now let me open this without stuff falling. Oh, crap. It's going to fall. <laughs> oh, crap. Look at this. Oh, I hope I don't get the door bent. Okay. I'm going to need to put my knee here. Now I want you to look at all of this, if I can zoom in back fast enough. Look at this. I'm holding this up with my hand. And I'm holding this up with my knee. And I got stuff at the bottom. If I was to let all this stuff go, this, this stuff would go flying all onto the floor. These are all my collab books. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take all these out and I'm going to put them on the bed. And I'm going to go through them one by one. Not just for you new subscribers, but for comic book collectors in general. So, give me a moment. Alright, I managed to pull all these books out. See, notice how it's empty now. Um, 
I do have two books, however, that I'm not going to show off. They are volumes two and three of the Chris Claremont run on X-Men. I have those hidden away in a box in here that I'd rather not dig out. But I do got volumes two and three of the Chris Claremont X-Men run. I don't have volume one, but I just have volumes two and three. Um, and looking at, and when you look at this collection, you'll wonder why I just buy volume ones as opposed to volume twos. Although I might get the volume one of Chris Claremont's X-Men run just because it seems like it'd be fair. And... I'm debating if I should get Volumes 2 and 3, especially with some of the ones that are on the way. But I'll show those off when, when they come in the mail and stuff. But needless to say, Volumes 2 and 3 of like other character stories like Superman and Wonder Woman and all of them are debatable. Because I would need a crap load of storage space, and you'll see why. Let me try to pan this around here now I'm going to stack these and I'm going to show you guys just how big this damn collection is sorry about that I didn't mean to actually swear but I'm just saying it's a pretty huge collection Alright, now I've got all the DC books that I have. And just to let you guys know, all these DC Showcase and Marvel Essentials books that I'm showing off to you guys. Um, for those of you who are collectors, like comic book collectors, hang on a second. Put this down a moment. Uh, sorry about that. Had to, uh, had to get a drink of water. Um, but all these DC Showcase and Marvel Essentials books, these are great for those of you who are comic book collectors. These are a great alternate, and some of these only cost a, like a little under twenty bucks. But you get like a like a lot of a lot of stuff. You get like over five hundred pages or so of like two or three, possibly four year runs. Um, and these are great. The only bad part that I think you won't like is that they are reprinted. Oh, excuse me. They're reprints, but they're in black and white. Just to like save on production value. But even then, whether they're printed in black and white or not, I'd like to think that the, I'd like to think that the quantity as opposed to the quality kind of, matters so give or take that give or take you you guys can choose to collect your comics however you like to but I like these books but anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I got here for the DC showcase at least thus far this is my collection thus far and it is pending I have a couple of other books that are coming in that are gonna be added to this collection but here's all the DC books that I have. Start over here. I have The Atom, Aquaman, Supergirl, Batgirl. By the way, just as a side note, a lot of these comics are in the Silver to Bronze Age, by the way. Just, just, a, just a little personal note in case you're looking at some of these and, and are kind of like, okay... The Phantom Stranger, Shazam, the original Captain Marvel series, back back during the old Silver to Bronze Age era, Teen Titans, um, Superman, t DC Comics presents Superman team ups, Black Hawk, All Star Comics, which was the 1970s reiteration of the JSA, meeting the Earth One J Earth Earth One JLA. Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman, and this one's actually a rare one, guys. This one is actually out of print for some odd reason. The second and third volumes 
are going to continuously be printed, but for some reason this first volume is out of print, so it's a really super rare one. Really super rare. The Flash, the original Brave and the Bold Batman team-ups, Elongated Man, um, Robin the Boy Wonder, I'm actually currently reading this one, I'm currently in the process of reading through it, but Robin the Boy Wonder, this actually covers Dick Grayson from the time that he joined Batman to his college years, to the college years before he became Nightwing. Just a little personal fact that I thought that I would bring up to you guys, since it, it I thought that it was was kind of cool to bring up. Um, the Unknown Soldier. Pretty cool character. World's Finest. Yes, the original Superman-Batman team-ups. Metamorpho the Element Man. Yes, one of the original Outsiders. Had his own series. And of course, anybody that knows me or has watched my channel knows that I absolutely love this guy. But Ambush Bug. Booster Gold, Adam Strange, and here's one that I actually am going to try to read, read through at some point, but Batman and the Outsiders, actually let me skim back over here, I have yet to read Blackhawk and All-Star Comics, I'm going to read those whenever I get the chance. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place with this, but I'm just trying to get all this information out at once. Batman and the Outsiders. The Doom Patrol, which was actually the very first DC Showcase book that I bought. So, this. Doom Patrol. The Challengers of the Unknown. The Metal Men. Green Arrow, the original Silver Age Adventures of Oliver Queen. The Legion of Superheroes. Superman, the Silver Age Superman. And I'm kind of mad because the top corner here, if you can see, is kind of warped and bent. Enemy Ace. Pretty good story. I enjoyed these books. Ah, the original Justice League. The original Silver Age Justice League. Green Lantern. Batman. And then I'm going to flip it over here because I couldn't quite fit these on here. Hawkman. Batlash. And Eclipso. Whoa, I almost stumbled backwards. Now let me actually show you the Batlash, the Batlash and Eclipso books. They're only about like this thin. And these were only like eight or nine bucks. And they were actually part of an Amazon like buy three, get, get the fourth one free deal. Now I'm going to use Hawkman here as an example. This is how thick the bigger books are. Let me find the end here. Show you the inside here for Hawkman. Ah, here we go. See, note right here. This is what they look like. Every page inside is exactly like this in black and white form. And I doubt you guys can see this, but I'm going to see if I can try to zoom in here. I guess you can't see it. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to zoom in hardcore on that. I was trying to get the page number, but basically this book goes up to about 560 pages. So, all these big collab books, like right here that I'm quickly scanning across... 
Minus these two, ignore the Eclipse on Batlash, but from Hawkman all the way up to here, these are over 500 pages of, of like, nothing but comic book stuff. And as you saw with Hawkman, they're reprinted in black and white. Pretty decent collection, and I got a couple of more coming in. Um, I have Jonah Hex, Sergeant Rock, The Haunted Tank. I have, and I also have the All-Star Squadron and the Spectre, but those will be, like, spanned throughout the next couple of months. But nevertheless, I'll show those off when, when I get to them. So, on to the Marvel books now. It didn't turn off, did it? <laughs> Blooper! Now we move on to the Marvel collection. The original debut and original comics of Moon Knight. The Submariner, Captain Marvel, Marvel. Yes, the original comic book series based on him. The original hero for hire himself. Yes, Luke Cage, in all his weird black exploitation disco funky fury. <laughs> Daredevil. Yes, the original adventures of Matt Murdock back when he had this outfit. Carol Denvers, Miss Marvel. The original adventures of Johnny Blaze, the Ghost Rider. Doctor Strange. Here's an interesting one. The Human Torch. This is not Jim Hammond, the Invader's Human Torch, but actually, as I apparently found out, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch of the Fantastic Four, had his own mini solo series. Pretty cool. This is actually one of the books I'm currently reading alongside Robin the Boy Wonder. Danny Rad, The Immortal Iron Fist. Jessica Drew, The Spider Woman. And one that I'm proud to put in my collection and I'd wanted to read for a long time, but yes. The Original Adventures of Sergeant Fury and His Howling Commandos. Nick, F you know, old school Nick Fury. And then we got the original X-Factor team. Pretty cool. And yes, anybody that knows me or knows F.W. Waller, we are both huge fans of Godzilla, so this was a must for me. The Godzilla King of the Monsters, Mar you know, Marvel Essential. And me being the X-Men fan that I am, I didn't actually realize this, but apparently this is the original X-Men team right here. They are originally called the, Un the Uncanny X-Men, the original five. Jean Grey, Cyclops, Iceman, Angel, and Beast. Back before he had the blue fur. This is actually one of the official first, like, collab books like this that I got. Then we move on to, yes, The Punisher. Um, Allison Blair, The Dazzler. Pretty cool. Man Thing. The Defenders. The Avengers. Try to slide over here. Marvel 2 and 1, and a lot of them actually featured Ben Grimm, the Thing. And the person who actually sold this to me, let me actually show this. It's apparently discolored. And I will admit, though, flipping through this for a second, I will admit, despite having discoloration, this book is actually in pretty good condition. It's in pretty good condition. The spine is pretty neat, pretty neat and tight. The only thing is that the pages are just discolored, that's all. But otherwise, book's in pretty good condition. And then we have the supervillain team-up. Yes. A couple of the supervillains like Red Skull, Doctor Doom, and whatnot teamed up. And of course, Jessica, you know, Jen Walters. The Savage She-Hulk. Anybody that knows me knows that She-Hulk is one of my favorite Marvel femme fatales, so it's 
no surprise that I have her in here. Um, the original Stanley, Jack Kirby, Iron Man, and Mighty Thor. Yes. And then we have the Amazing Spider-Man and the Astonishing Ant-Man. Then we go over to Captain America and the Hulk. Yes, the original stories. Damn. Oh, sorry. Then we have the Fantastic Four and Marvel Team-Up. And then we have Silver Surfer and Richard Ryder, a.k.a. Nova. Old Bullet Head himself. So that's all the Marvel and DC books. Now, I'm going to show you guys with all these books combined together just what my collection actually looks like. 